the season. This time, an uneasy, uncertain, slow process. They started sprouting, but... So what you saw at the very start of that intro should have indicated that things did not quite go according to plan. But this is going to be a good news, bad news situation. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it, okay? So yes, it does seem that the growth process um, for my banana pepper plants not only stopped, but it also looked like the plants were losing color and also getting some bad coloration on them. And I was advised to discontinue them. I must have gotten lucky last year. I'm going to discuss several factors here. So my final attempt at growing these banana pepper plants this year after several failed tries prior may have kicked off a little bit too late. So I initiated this process in um, in June, um, you know, at the start of summer. But that might have been a little bit too late, or that could have been the actual last a window of opportunity that I could have got them planted. But we'll talk about that a little bit further with, with the other factors to consider. And by the way, going into September, you know, there are going to be times where it stops see, seeming uh, summerish, you know, because it has gotten to the point already where I'll walk out to my car to go to work in the morning. It's still a little bit dark outside and I have to turn the car's heater on. So moving forward, um, I could have had a better chance at having a, having better results if I had used more um, suitable soil at the start, more nutrient rich than whatever the heck I got this time, you know. So not everything that says organic screams satisfaction guaranteed. And I could have done more to ensure a more sustainable growing environment better than I did than the final try. Could have had a, a fruitful yield like if I used um, better quality pots, you know, better space. Um, if I didn't feel like putting them directly in the ground in the backyard behind the fence of what I call the courtyard, you know, it's got the pool in it, That's, I call it the courtyard. And lastly, it's possible that I overcompensated with the plant food. Excess nutrients can stunt the growth of a plant just like failing to regularly water them. And I was using Super Thrive. It was that same brand that had a sample included in that greenhouse kit but yeah uh, speaking of that greenhouse kit you know next year and earlier on in the year i want to continue i want to try this again i want to uh, get that greenhouse kit again that came with that sample and make sure that the lid to it doesn't come up missing okay so i don't know what happened maybe the wind must have blown the top off while it was sitting on that pedestal in the courtyard man i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna need that lid um, and I would either want to put the plants in better quality spacious pots if I'm willing to fork over the extra money, or I could plant them directly into um, that area around back behind the fence. I would want to make sure that the best looking, liveliest, promising looking ones get planted only after sufficient time in the greenhouse after having gotten some nice humidity saturation from the sun. Right, so even though I'm not seeing any actual results of my own this year, I'm glad to have seen it come close to almost there with the baby peppers that I have seen. At the time of this video, I know that at least one out of the three people I gave the plants to uh, seemed to be having success with theirs, so that's good enough for me. Um, another one almost had his dog eat his. Well, this concludes coverage of my banana pepper plants. and. The series known as the Banana Pepper Powered Vlog. Thriving Ruins will soon be discontinued as an active project here in 2024. This is likely going to be either the second to last or third to last upload on this channel because I am shifting all emphasis to my latest project, um, pretty much the Thriving Ruins successor project, Thoughtful Bumper Car. And, and uh, you know, the vision and purpose for that channel, for that project, um, I consciously have it in development, you know. It's where I want to share my opinions, my thoughts, my worldview, trying things out, and leaving room for entertainment where I can. But running this channel, it has been a learning experience. Uh, same thing with uh, running my TikTok profile. Okay, I guess I'm done with my guide here. Oh, and by the way, check this out. For anybody uh, wondering why I 
and go on a separate audio track. Um, I recently got this from Amazon. You know, um, my motivation here is that I want to improve the quality of my voice when I'm making videos. So it'd be nice to have something that could uh, hook me up with um, a better audio track that's separate from you know what's being shot on video. And I have ways of getting you know audio and video mixed up, so that's fine. Uh, this was um, how much was it? About twenty dollars. Um, it's much smaller than what I thought it would be, but it gets the job done. All right, folks. Thank you for your time. Um, like, go check out Thoughtful Bumper Car. I got a handful of videos up there already. Hey, I'm actually going to leave you with some bloopers. Okay, check them out. After several failed tries, a train? Why now? I lost my train of thought. I wrote, I wrote this down, and I lost train of thought. The son of a. My device wasn't even on.